Um, as somebody who I'm sure proudly represents uh, many areas around Brisbane, uh, you can understand and share my concern around the Bruce Highway as you head north. I know you love the, uh, the capital city, but I think it only gets better as you head further north. And uh, uh, it is incredibly important uh, that we have a Bruce Highway uh, that is planned for generations to come. Uh, everyone wants to move to our part of the world, and I can't blame them. I think it's uh, the best place in the world. Uh, but it is important that governments plan for that long-term growth uh, that our region uh, will see. Uh, and we've, we've made a significant uh, start in that space. Uh, the federal government is spending $6.7 billion upgrading the Bruce Highway. Uh, and I think that's an important initiative. I think that's uh, something that would, should be congratulated, and it wasn't easy uh, to get to that point, particularly in a difficult uh, budgetary circumstance. Uh, of that $6.7 billion, uh, over $3 billion is being spent upgrading the Bruce Highway between the Pine River uh, and Gympie. And as you drive along the highway, you can already see those works happening. Uh, most of the intersections are getting a very significant uh, upgrade. Uh, but I think it is important that uh, we have that longer term vision uh, and we plan for that next stage. Uh, that's why I'm really excited to say I'm working with many colleagues in this place uh, to have that vision for South East Queensland around uh, the Bruce Highway. Uh, myself, uh, uh, Mal Bruff, the member for Fisher, to my north, uh, Peter Dutton just to the south, uh, Luke Howarth uh, a little bit further down, uh, and uh, Senator James McGrath, who represents all of Queensland. We've joined forces uh, to launch our Boost the Bruce campaign. Uh, and what this is about is that next stage, that long-term vision uh, to boost the Bruce. Uh, and uh, I think this is a very exciting thing. As part of this campaign, uh, we've managed to secure $8 million from the federal government uh, to begin that design and planning work so that we know where those upgrades are, how much they would cost. Uh, we think, for what it's worth, uh, some of the really important things are increasing the number of lanes from the Sunshine Coast uh, down to Caboolture, where there's already an increased number of lanes. Uh, at uh, King John Creek, particularly uh, on that stretch, it often floods uh, and the highway gets cut, uh, which is a pretty remarkable thing not that far north of Brisbane. Uh, it is, uh, it's caused huge dramas and we want to see the highway uh, lifted at that point to mitigate that flooding uh, risk on the highway. And obviously where the highway comes into the Gateway Motorway, uh, there is a real bottom, bottleneck that occurs uh, at that point. This government is spending over a billion dollars already upgrading the, uh, the Gateway Motorway and I think that will make a big difference. Uh, but the, inevitably there will be that bottleneck as we connect uh, to the Bruce Highway. Uh, so across those in initiatives, we put $8 million on the table for that design, planning and engineering work uh, so that we can get a costing around uh, how much that next stage large scale upgrade uh, for the future of the Bruce Highway uh, will cost. Uh, and I think it's easy to say uh, that uh, the responsibility of this simply falls to politicians. Uh, but of course, we live in an environment where there are budgetary constraints. And I've always said that when more people speak up, uh, it's more likely that uh, we'll have an outcome. So uh, my colleagues and I are, are calling on locals to go to www.boostthebruce.com.au and add their names uh, to the petition calling for this vital upgrade to the highway because when we all speak up, uh, I think we can make this the number one infrastructure priority for Queensland and certainly South East Queensland, uh, and that is incredibly important. Uh, we want to uh, do this in a bipartisan way as well, or at least extend the arm of bipartisanship. It is a reality, and I don't want to make a political point of this, but it is a reality uh, that with the new state Labor government uh, in Queensland, uh, by not doing asset sales, we've lost $8.5 billion uh, worth of investment. Uh, they are currently developing an infrastructure plan. Now, that is money that could have been spent on projects like this. I'm calling on the state government. To, I met with Mark Ryan, the, the state, local state Labor member, and he has committed to lobby the state Labor government as well for these funds because uh, these long-term vision projects, we should try and rise above that political fray and actually get something done. Uh, I think the Labor Party at a state level have put themselves in a difficult situation to do that, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt and let's all call on each other uh, to do this. These highway initiatives in metropolitan areas are usually funded 50-50 state and federal. Uh, outside of the city, it's 80-20. Uh, I commit to lobby this government and any government of the day uh, for that 80% uh, funding uh, in our area. And I think it's important that the state government puts forward uh, that 20%. So get behind our campaign and go to www.boostthebruce.com.au.